All right, folks, what's going on? This is episode 734 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Ball over here. We talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. And you you, you just gotta you, you gotta you gotta make this a joke. You gotta you gotta you gotta laugh at this. You gotta make a joke out of it. You gotta do something. Because it this is insane. There's a high chance that Desmond Ritter may be starting for the Falcons when it comes to playing the Saints in New Orleans. Uh, this upcoming week, uh, and um, this could be a situation where the Falcons may pull it off and beat the Saints. That will be absolutely insane if that happens. If Ritter pulls it off and beat the Saints, and possibly leads us into the playoffs, that would be poetic justice for the Falcons, right? That would be just absolutely crazy, just to torture us, to make us feel, you know, uh, the pain of the inevitable. But let, 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 let's put a little joke and spin on this. What if Ritter does go in there and win this game? What happens? And what if the Bucks lose? Because I, I, I'm i not sure. Taylor Heineke may not be going out there to play because of injury. So we may be in a, a, a weird situation right now. It, I, the more I think about it, it's, it's, a, it's a possibility that we, we may be relying on Ritter for, for the division title. <laughs> Listen, man, if this is your first time here, welcome. I could be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Uh, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone who wants to come through and listen or watch the show. Uh, the Podcast Avenue has been doing great. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, also, you know, if you want to watch the show on YouTube and Rumble, it's also amazing as well. I really appreciate it. I could be found on Twitter or X at Via Baller. The website is first and And uh, if you want to support the show, Cash App and PayPal links are below in the description. And uh, let, let's get into this. Taylor Heineke was, I was pulled out of the game against Chicago because, not just because of poor play, because, you know, we don't have good quarterback play in, in with the Falcons. You know, ever since Matt Ryan left, and, you know, we just haven't had the best quarterback play. And uh, so, he wasn't pulled just because of court, but poor quarterback play. I think he he already had an ankle injury that was um, bothering him. And um, yeah, Ritter came in the game. What Ritter do? He threw an interception. I don't have the stats in front of me, but I know they weren't that great. And with that being said, we may be seeing Ritter again. <laughs> man, it, it, it just seems like a zombie, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it just keeps coming back. Not, not Desmond Ritter himself, but it just – the fact that he's being a starter is like, he just keep coming back, you know? And uh, with Ritter uh, coming into play, what does this mean for the Falcons? Well, I mean, to be quite honest, Ritter can't give us a chance to win this game, believe it or not. I mean, I'm not saying that it's all, you know, doom and gloom. Ritter has some skills that can, you know, help us win the game with, despite all of the turnovers and all of the problems. Yes. We're playing in new Orleans. Last time we played in new Orleans, I think he played okay. As you know, I think that was his first start ever. He played okay, but uh, now it this game is a little bit meaningful. You know, I mean, you win this game and hope that the Panthers uh, handle business, and you're 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 a divisional winner. So it, it the, with the pressure up up against Ritter, pressure up against this team. You know, the defense uh, Jesse Bates out there saying that they're still in the fight. Are you still in a fight with this quarterback? I mean, look, I, I I will say this. One thing I do like about Desmond Ritter, one thing about him, he does he he, he does play hard when, you know, his back is up against the wall. You know, when the pressure is there, he does perform at some points. But do I think this is going to happen? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'll be honest. I don't because it's like, Desmond Ritter is like schizophrenic when it comes to quarterback play. Like one day he looks really good. He may turn the ball over. I mean, he's good for one turnover, but he may play good enough to win a game and then turn back around. He looks like he should have never left college <laughs> as a, as a, uh, he should have never left college as a, you know, as a quarterback. It's just, it, it, it's one of those things that you're like sitting there like, what, what are we doing here? Now, I'm going to root for the team regardless. I mean, I, I don't believe in tanking. I don't believe in losing. I don't believe in all that stuff. Whatever, whoever, if you're wearing that Atlanta Falcons jersey, I want you to beat any team and everybody in any team and every team you go up against. I mean, it's not like I'm going against him. It's just that 
it's just comical with everything that has happened since the Desmond Ritter QB one experience. You know, the whole preseason thing, he plays okay in a couple games. He played terrible in the next couple games. Then it's back and forth. He looks good. He makes a great throw, and then he throws it right at the defense. It, I mean, it, he fumbles the ball. You know, it's just, it's, it's a little bit of everything. So it's just, you, you don't know what Desmond Ritter you're going to get if, he, if he's going to play. Now you got to think about that with Taylor Heineke as well. You don't know what's going to happen with the quarterbacks under center. This is why. There is, without a doubt, that Coach Arthur Smith, Terry Fontenot, or whoever's in that front office, you have to get a quarterback this season. I don't know. I mean, I mean, this next season. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I don't know how many times it needs to be said, or I, I don't know how many you know people are saying it because I, mean, I know it's a lot. But it, with everything else with this team, you're pretty much set. You're looking at the coach. Yeah, all right, he's not good at developing quarterbacks. Maybe need a quarterback that's well developed that don't need any grooming. You know, uh, well, you, you got the offensive line. You got two running backs that are studs, and this whole Cordell Patterson thing, which I don't really want to get into because, to be quite honest, I kind of saw that coming already. Ever since like maybe week ten, uh, I think Cordell Patterson. I think his time has just passed him by when it comes to this team. You got Bijan, you got Algier, you got two stud running backs. So, yeah, that's why I was a big proponent of Cordell Patterson, asking him to just play receiver and be number two for, you know, Drake. <laughs> but what well, I'm not the coach. But nevertheless, you you got the receivers. You got you got pretty decent receivers. You got uh what you call it? A, a couple of good tight ends with John New Smith and, and Pitts. Pitts is a little bit questionable because we saw some things this past game that was like, all right, what are you doing? And then you have, um, you know, a defense that's actually really, really good. Really good. I mean, you're talking about like top 10 good. It, it, there's no reason for this team to be seven and nine right now. But th- I'm not going on that rabbit hole. It's just, you know, this is a this should be 11 win team. But let's get back to the quarterback. What are we looking at, y'all? Do do you think I uh, uh, do you think that Desmond Ritter will pull it off? I mean, we're going into hostile territory. I mean, he does. He has the tools to make it happen. Will he make it happen? This is a, a scenario that that that's, that's pretty unlikely. I don't see Desmond Ritter really going in there to do it, but the possibility is there. The possibility. It's just like yo, if this dude goes out there and gives you one turnover. Let's just say he turns the ball over one time against the Saints. I think the Falcons will win this game. If he turns it over two times, it's they may not win it, but they have a chance. If he turns over three times, it's a wrap. So I, I give him one interception to win this game. If he if he if he turns the ball, I ain't gonna say just interception. If he turns the ball over one time, the the, the Falcons got this game. They, they, I, I think they got a hand. I think the team is talented enough that they can to sustain one turnover. Now that one turnover can't be like the. And now, now hold on, hold on. This turnover cannot be like the the Carolina Panthers turnover where you, you're driving at the end of the game and you 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 throw it right at. You can't be one of those. It has to be like one of these first. I will give it like middle of the third quarter at the latest maybe middle of the third quarter, and that's pushing it. I would say it has to be a first-half turnover. It has to be a turnover in the first half. You do If he, if he can give you one turnover only in the first half, I think the, I think we could beat the Saints. If it's in the third quarter, I don't know. Fourth quarter, nah, you can forget it. You can, Unless we're up like two scores or something, and even then that, that's questionable. But you got David Carr on the other side, and Oh, David Carr versus our defense. I like our chances. But a first quarter turnover, I think we can win this game. And and if that happens, you're going to have the the Falcons going into the playoffs, possibly hosting the uh what's that team? Uh the Eagles. Then we'll probably be hosting the Eagles. Or we, do we get like a cuz the second seed gets the 7th seed. Third gets the sixth, fourth gets the fifth. Yeah, so we'll be hosting the Eagles. 
<laughs> and y'all want to know something? To be quite honest, if defense wins championships, we might shock the world. <laughs> We might get shocked the world and beat the Eagles because the Eagles ain't been playing that well as of late. <laughs> oh, my God. If you like this commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. Am I crazy? I'm, I Look, I'm laughing, I'm laughing just to keep them crying, y'all. I, I really am, man, because this is like, this is sad. But if Ritter has to play this game, oh, man. Can he pull it off? I don't know. Maybe he can. It, it, it just depends. If he, like I said about the turnovers, first half turnover, we got a shot. If he turns it over more than once, it's a wrap. <laughs> I could be found on YouTube and Rumble. Also, on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Um, follow me on X at VF Baller. The website is firstandframes.com. And the Cash App, PayPal links are below in the description if you want to donate and support the show. Um, Y'all, y'all let me know, man. Y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all, all serious, this could be a possibility, and I'm I'm rooting for it. But man, oh man, it's gonna be tough. All right, y'all, I'm out. Y'all take it easy. Y'all be blessed. <laughs> Peace.